Here's what I like to call my uh, six foot master series uh, top and bottom tool chest. So six, it's about six foot long. Um, can't remember the height, but I had to make it specifically to fit underneath uh, these cabinets that I had mounted. Built this in 2011. Uh, it was about three week build. I think it took me about six sheets of birch plywood, three quarter, and about five or six sheets of uh, of uh, birch uh, half inch ply. I used most of the half inch for the drawer bottoms, but it the, it's built in two pieces. The bottom is uh, roughly 23 inches in depth, and uh, the top chest is a little bit uh, shallower just to give it the uh, definition that it's a two-piece build has full extension ball bearing slides some of the some of these small drawers have little dividers in them that kinda help out with your the things you grab most frequent this is all files this is just a small dado that catches uh, catches rides in that slot here's all the drill bits uh, unfortunately this particular one is a little bit too narrow even even without that bag it doesn't move much more because you have to assemble you have to have these slides in place when you assemble the whole drawer that one could have been a little bit narrower this one's not too bad, but that's where you keep all your most popular bits. And it's all dovetailed, a little dirty. The reason I'm doing this video is just because uh, I recently cleaned it up best I could. I waxed it every, maybe twice a year, I'll just clean it up, keep it looking good. These are all the Allen wrenches, extra, extra handles out of walnut if I ever need them. Everything slides really nice. These are all chisels. You have all your uh, all your sockets. Everything from three eighths, half inch, maybe a few of them that are one inch. Of course, I got the snap-on name there just out of uh, out of respect for what it is, for for what it replaced. This would be all my ratchets. This cabinet is uh, it's it's it wouldn't be durable in a shop in a mechanic setting, but for for me for what I do, this is perfect. Everything slides very well. Every now and then, I'll just oil oil up the slides. This opens up. This was spe specially designed to hold all my red bins that I have. And then this happened to turn out well. It's just uh, this is just a cutoff piece of the side. It looks came out pretty good. Just a nice piano hinge. Then I got some little bit of woodworking detail in there that you can barely see, but it's in there. It also holds the joint together a little better. Yeah, this is all birch, three quarter birch. Hammers, pry bars, a couple other hammers. This is these are the this is the big drawer. Jack stands and chains and blocks. This is just miscellaneous wrenches, crescents. I don't get in there too much. A lot of pipe wrenches. I just wanted one cabinet that that housed all my mechanics uh, tools, and this one was designed to do that everything was laid out on paper before I went ahead and built it everything I want everything to fit a lot of electrical stuff mostly 12 volt automotive just miscellaneous wires you know 12 volt of course grease fittings these are some some aids there timing lights this is a heavy drawer here. 
this is all taps and dies. And then this I kind of threw in as an afterthought because the drawer is so deep I didn't really need that much depth on the taps and dies. So I was able to just throw this in there. Yeah, it's really a heavy, it's, it's a heavy tool chest. Six foot long, can't remember the height. It's pretty damn close because this lid here when it closes has about maybe a three-eighths to a half an inch of, of clearance. And it's sitting on this baby. I, uh, I ordered these casters. These are, I can't remember, four inch. I think they're rated at a thousand each. And there's four of them, swivel casters. I probably should have moved these casters in a little bit because they're way too far to the outside. But I guess uh, live and learn. Um, those are straight casters on the rear. I consider that the rear. These are swivels. It's on a block because my garage floor is not level. And uh, because that is a swivel end, that's going to be the pool end. And right here is a big uh, gas pipe handle. Last time I moved this thing full, was uh, it was a challenge, man, just to get it out to uh, finish it, to stain it, and urethane it, and get it looking pretty. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video and show all the detail that went into this. It took three, I think it took three, it took about two weeks to design it, and about three weeks uh, of, of construction. It went pretty quick because it's all sheet goods. The drawers, the drawers are everything's dadoed in. The backs of the drawers are dadoed to the sides, and then I just used uh, dovetails in the front, and then I finished every every drawer in uh, in uh, cherry, solid cherry wood, just to give it the look. But it's all made out of plywood. She's a she's in I love that cabinet. Nice cabinet. Heavy as hell. This thing probably weighs 2,500 pounds. Maybe 2,000 pounds. I'm not sure, but it's heavy. It's got a little bit of sag to it because of the weight. If you look right there between the... Right there. Because I imagine most of the weight of these center drawers are concentrated on those two uh, vertical edges there, which puts a lot of weight on this. Transfers down to here. And because my casters are so far away, all that weight from this just goes right down to the center. So it's got a little bit, maybe a, a good sixteenth of a little bit of a, a little bit of a drag in it. But it's nothing major. I'm still happy with it. Everything rides good, slides good since 2011. It's 2016 now. And just real quick to go over how this all went down. I kind of had to figure out what I needed. 68, that's what I needed. 62 was my max to the lights. So I kind of papered this out for about a week or so. Um, what I needed, you kind of build within your restrictions. Here's what I thought I would go with originally. And you actually, there's a lot, a lot of planning that people don't realize, but you're trying to make a cabinet to house what you have. You know, your wrenches, your pliers, your screwdrivers. I was going to put clamps in here for woodworking, but that didn't uh, make sense. I chose to make this cabinet just automotive tools. And the casters, the base. I thought maybe something like this would work. You know, that wasn't very feasible. I think there's 23 drawers in there. Now you get a little bit closer to what I was envisioning. And then you have to size out. A lot of drawers are the same, same width, same. They're all the same. Not all of them, but a lot of similar drawers are cut all the same. So it goes pretty quick with sheet goods, you know. And then you got your measurements. You know, all your sides are going to be 19 and 8 long. And then all you're doing is throwing a dado in there. And then you got to get to your cut list, your materials list, and how you're going to lay everything out so that you're most efficient with your plywood 
So it was, it was a fun build. This is my, this is the bottom of the cabinet. It, there's just two by fours at the very bottom underneath the skirt. This whole thing here, this looks like about six inches, like a one by six of cherry that's uh, cladded over two layers of uh, consecutive two by fours or maybe even two by sixes maybe rip down a little bit to five or so I can't remember but there's double layer two by fours in there that thing's the base is about yeah it's a thick it's a thick base because I knew I needed it could have went a little bit more I kinda got intricate here with the dados and such just to make sure I had a good base you know and then just a sheet of plywood over that and then move on from there And then once uh, these are the papers that I made in the in the kitchen, and then once you get moving in the shop, these are the shop pictures or the shop drawings of what you're really gonna be going after. You're trying to size out everything perfect, 72 inches wide clamps. I still thought I was going with a clamp rack. That didn't that didn't work out. I got the open top drawer for all the sockets. That's pretty much what I wanted. 2011, that was when this was built. There's a lot of figuring goes into this. Four heavy duty casters, four, oh, four inch, four inch swivel casters, two of them. Fixed casters, two of them, got those. Yeah, that's a design that looks like it was, didn't go with that one. Then you gotta add in all your cost. I think this was about, uh, those drawer slides were expensive, man. Those slides, there's 20, I forget, 23 drawers, I think, in this whole thing. So you gotta double that up on slides. And, uh, those slides are not cheap, man. You're talking full extension ball bearing slides. Each slide is rated at rated at 100 pounds, which I'm not going to use anyway because you don't stand on the on the, the drawers. You know you, they're loaded up with weight, but you're not you're not standing on something to get to something. As long as you're not overloading them with, there's no drawer in there that has over 200 pounds. This one, this one's pretty damn heavy here. This has got all your presses and stuff and. Big clamps and pitman poolers. A lot of older tools from my father, but they're heavy. That's a heavy drawer. You push that baby back and it's heavy. This one, this one's not so bad. But that's the deepest drawer. Every drawer was specifically made for depth for to accommodate what I got. You know, I sent it in a snap-on. Got a nice letter from Snap-on, so they like the design, and it's pretty cool. Because Snap-on, if as we know, top of the line. So I just wanted this to be the top of the line tool chest that I could build out of my shop for uh, relatively not too much. I think I have about uh, six to seven hundred, possibly. Um, most of that's because I. Uh, log my own timber so a lot of the, all the cherry all the cherry came from right from the kiln the only store bought would be the slides you know the hardware the fasteners the glue the casters um, and the, the slides of course most expensive but that's it that's my top and bottom six foot master series snap-on tool chest it's a beautiful addition here Thanks for watching.